Purchase your copy of TurboCAD from CADCourse.net. Oh, um, so I, I've laid in these walls and I've put in a few of these dimensions and uh, I've dropped this window into the middle of my wall and the new style manager lets me control the dimension styles that are specific for architectural dimensions. So I can go in here and I can pull that open a little bit more so you can see. I can see that the, the opening edges are turned off. I go in and I turn those on and say, oh, okay, all edges turned on. Now you can see that it's dimensioning to the outside of the opening. In some cases, you're going to want that to be to, also to the center of the opening. And totally control here um, the different types of wall elements, wall intersection that I was talking uh, about earlier, so the, now it no longer shows the depth of that intersection, just the, the, the length of the oh, wall. And that's going to be the maximum length of the wall, as you can see. So, so those, those are significant improvements for the dimensioning of walls then, huh? Yeah. It's, it, for, for anybody doing architectural work, it's, you're going to make it much, much faster once they've laid in their walls, doors, and windows to just slam in their dimensions as they need them. In here, we also have what's called the, the text style. Now, that'll control all of the dimensional text and all of the text in the drawing um, that you would use in a typical architectural drawing so that you can have one governing style or principle. You can create multiple styles if you want and apply that just like a CSS file or a style in Word to your text. Right, could you give us an example of that? I'm not... Uh, not quite sure what you're talking about. Well, I mean, the standard style is Times New Roman, right here, so I'm just going to... Sorry. Yes. So that's your standard text, right? Yes. Okay. Well, that's defined here. It's Times New Roman. If I go and say, oh, no, I want our standard text to be... Oh, good old Arial, I think. We'll do Arial. Boom. And that will apply to all of the text in the drawing. That's governed by that factor. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. So you can create, essentially, um, style sheets for text, and you can apply multiple ones. So some text is this style, some text is this other style. And then you'll have universal control over all of that functionality, which gives you a lot of options um, in the appearance of your text in the drawing. Uh, and now if you, if you wanted specifically to have a different font in the drawing, how would you go about doing that then? Um, if I want to specifically have a different font, what I could do, and what I would do if I'm using styles, is I would come in here and I would say, create a new style. So we'll call this uh, Textile 1, and Textile 1 will have, say, Batang as the style. And when I select this, and I go into my properties, I'm going to say Textiles, no, it's going to be Textile 1, and now the font is Batang. Oh, I see. And if I go back now and change Textile 1, so that's, I'm going to say, Book Antiqua, um, instant update for that, all of the ones using that style. See? Oh, I see. Okay. All right. That's a big improvement. It gives you a lot more flexibility over that, huh? Yeah. Well, it, it also allows you, for people who are working in design environments where you have company or uh, corporate standards, to create and set up your standards in advance. Right. Now, now, in earlier versions of TurboCAD, if I recall correctly, you could set up styles, but that would only apply to new text that you were going to create. <coughs> Correct. But, uh, now it's, uh, so those styles apply to existing text now as well. Right. Now, the style manager really applies mostly on the AEC side, the architectural side, um, as, as opposed to the mechanical side. But in this case, you could, in this one instance, it really applies for both. Uh, okay. And you can still create the have the uh, create styles. That's that's basically still part of the tool. You can set up a style standard as you always have been able to. Excellent. Okay. And so, what else is hanging around in that style manager? Can we go and have a quick look? Sure. Um, in addition to the the text and. Uh, dimension styles. There's also schedule styles. Schedules are new in TurboCAD. Um, they allow you to create schedules, uh, standard schedules of windows and doors in your drawing. Uh, 
We also have stair styles and rail styles, and that's also for the new uh, functionality in TurboCAD, which allows you to create stairs and add rails to stairs or have freestanding rails. Excellent. Uh, and uh, let me just show you how easy it is to create a stair here. I'm just going to slam in and get it. Um, it's just that easy to create a stair. Boom, boom, boom. And you can then come in and say, okay, I want to create a rail. Yep, I want a railing. I want a railing on that stair. Boom. Excellent. Okay. Now, in the style manager, you can control the depth of the, the footing. You can control for the rails. You can control the balusters, whether there's a handrail, whether there's a top rail, whether there's a bottom rail, whether the balusters are square or round. These are all controllable options um, and all managed through the, the style manager. And what that allows you to do is total control and create multiple styles so that, say, you have one kind of stair for the common form. You, For example, if you're working for a firm where you use one standard stair style for um, how, homes and houses you're building, and you use another style for corporate building. Corporate buildings, usually you have concrete steps, you have an inner wall, steel rail, um, uh, and rail inner balusters uh, on the inside of a, of a, a landing, multiple, multiple landing staircase. That's not the case in a standard home where you tend to have just two landings or you might have a straight stair. All of that's controllable and stuff that you can predefine so that you can get up it going faster. Um, while it does take longer to preset that, that, those options, um, once you have people in a production environment, will find that they're doing their work much faster. All right. And certainly stairs is uh, something that uh, Tabercad users have been wanting for a long time. So yes. that, that's definitely a welcome addition. Uh, yeah. I think, I, I think they'll be very happy... Um, and uh, those who go on and get the uh, the architectural uh, edition will uh, um, enjoy the fact that there are also additional stair styles that they can put in and uh, customize. Okay, so let, let's clarify that the the, the vanilla type TurboCAD does have a stair option, but not uh, not all. Uh, and uh, what's the difference between the vanilla one and the architectural add-on? The uh, architectural edition comes with uh, a profile manager for managing the the shapes of doors and windows. It comes with a, a much larger set of parametric doors, windows, and stairs. So it, it has a full variety of stair sets. Um, if you look here, it's going to have straight stair, multi-landing stair, spiral, and U. Vanilla has just a straight stair. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Good. So you're going to have a much larger set of options. It also comes with a couple of things like, you know, the point marker tool for putting in, uh, in, in and specifically numbering for schedules and things like that. Get this movie and many others in higher resolution from cadcourse.net.